Space Garden Tour, I'm going to be giving you a small interview about every single plant that I'm growing right now. So if you want to learn how to grow stuff while also getting a tour of my garden, stick around to the end. And the best way to support the channel is by watching to the end. So our first chapter of this video takes us all the way over here to the broccoli. Now I've just recently learned that it looks like broccoli does continuously come back up. Because as you can clearly see, we got some more last night. And yes, I'm going to show you how I grow this stuff. So as you can clearly see, the broccoli is caged up. Uh, not at the moment, but it should be soon. Now this white stuff right here, it's specifically made for one thing. Now what we basically did is we took this, which was a strawberry cage and a dual purpose cage. So we had ducks, our ducks in here, which are over there in the chicken yard. They were in here for, I don't know, like the first like two months of them being outside because, because well, we didn't like trust them out with the chickens, so we just put them out there. And then we put it as our strawberry cage for a few years. And now what we did is we ripped this stuff off and then we created this broccoli cage, which now we can just throw this thing over any moment that we need it at. It's going to be a really helpful tool and tactic. So that way you can just keep your garden safe out of any sort of trouble. Now I'm sort of going row by row in this video. And the next one we're going to be talking about is we're going to talk about the zucchini and this and these two or three eggplants. Three. So we're going to be taking a look at how each of them are grown. So as you can clearly see, we did have them put in the ground. Now here's the thing. All these zucchinis were planted in the ground. These are not pot friendly. I think they are, but that's not how we did them. So what we did here was we put this eggplant in the ground, as you can clearly see. It's in the ground. And we actually raised these two eggplants out in the house. And then this eggplant was also was just recently planted in the ground, as you can clearly see, because it is much smaller than these. And now if you look carefully right here, you'll see this black pipe that's an irrigation system. So that way we can personally water our garden with minimal effort. Now the zucchini, same thing here. As you can clearly see, it is definitely very helpful for us to have in our garden. Like, it's really helpful. And zucchini bread, that's, that's one of my favorite parts of having zucchini in the garden. Zucchini bread is probably one of my favorite things that come out of the garden. I will be dropping a zucchini bread recipe on the 20... Um, no. I am... I've already dropped a zucchini bread recipe on the 26th, so if you want to check that out, you can do so on the channel. Alright, let's continue to our next row. These are the, gonna be the peppers. Let's talk about them. Alright, so I think we have two rows of peppers right here, and I don't know off the top of my head what these are. I think these are the peppers. Just based on go, just going off of looks, these are probably peppers. Yeah, because if you look carefully, you can kind of see peppers starting to come in up there. But if you go over here, there are actually peppers starting to come in. Now I have no idea what peppers these are, because they are just coming in. Now if you look right here, here is a green pepper. You might think this is the green pepper, but you leave it there for a while and it'll slowly turn into another color. You can harvest it earlier and it will still be a green pepper. But here's the thing, we do have to worry about the cabbage tuber worms. We didn't have a lot of problems with those last year, but the year before, damn, those were a huge problem. So same thing, irrigation system. And then since we're also in that row, we're going to be talking about our huge row of tomatoes. Now tomatoes have been a big part of our farm's history. Tomatoes have been our best selling here. They were best selling last year and best selling the year before. And here are the basil. So the basil, that's definitely a really helpful tactic to keep in your garden. It helps deter a lot of pests. Now I'm going to be dropping a part two to garden pests in a few days. So if you like, so apparently my garden pest video dropped about two months ago now did really good so i decided to do a part two so here's some tomatoes right here as you can clearly see they're definitely starting to get their stuff because as you can clearly see they're flowering and this was june 28th late june it really shouldn't be flowering just yet usually it takes a while for this stuff to begin flowering we didn't get our first flowers until like what like late july last year and that's because of all that rain we got and then a dry august just really helped us out right here you were growing them easily here. Oh, there's crows. See that crow up there? And then there's just so much more to talk about here. Like, we basically had to tie these up to their thing. This one is almost as tall as me. This is like 4'8", four, 4'9". Four, as you can clearly see, we tied this up and attached it up there. So that way it has 
something to keep it up because our our little sticks they don't really do a good job of keeping something that's like five feet tall up now we're gonna be talking about this one here unfortunately this torm this tomato like one of these tomatoes I was just looking at had like its stem like snapped so I don't know if it's gonna make it and yeah we have to rip out these flowers right here off the basil for a good reason actually because well it's just gonna like ruin the basil and that's not what we want all right now let's go check on the sunflowers and other stuff all right now this row is the sunflowers and sunflowers unfortunately don't really have a good germination rate so I'm just gonna be checking out them I think are sunflowers I think this is a sunflower yeah I think I'm just gonna show you down the row here I don't know if there's that many sunflowers because I planted these yeah, this looks like a sunflower to me. A lot of these look very similar. Oh, the, the first ones. These look like they're definitely doing well germinating. And I think the giant ones, I don't know if those even survive. Those can be like 12, 13 feet tall if they will. Now let me take you under this trellis right here. This is our cucumber trellis. Now, here we have a bunch of cucumbers and wow look at these flowers they're they're really doing good as I can clearly see and yeah that's it's definitely a big thing to see cucumbers just flowering this early we got our first two cucumbers out of the garden the other day and there's still more coming as you can clearly see right here there's still more cucumbers coming there are a lot of cucumbers coming for this early in the year and then we have like well like another half a dozen cucumbers right here they're definitely doing really well, and to say the least, the cucumbers are actually pretty well germinating for our area. Now let's take you over to the other side of the trellis, where we have this stuff. This is where we're going to be talking about another basil right here, and a few cherry tomatoes. And yeah, the cherry tomatoes, I think there's one grown right there. If I'm not mistaken, that is another cherry tomato. Now cherry tomatoes, they're really small. They are extraordinarily small. And that still makes them really useful tactics. So if you really do like those tiny little tomatoes, cherry tomatoes are definitely your way to go. They are really small and they are probably our best seller here. And we actually have a cherry tomato starting to turn red. Now as you can clearly see here, it's orange right now, but it will be hopefully red any day now. Now that reminds me of this cool little flower right here, right there as you can clearly see. And now I'm going to show you something else because I'm about to be called in for lunch. Now here we have some other stuff right here. I don't know what these are. I know we planted what what they're called. What are they called? Um, they're like those tiny pumpkins here. I said it in one of my videos, so here I'll put them up on the screen right now. All right, so now that you know what they are, because I forgot what they are, I think they're somewhere over here. And yeah. We do have, I think, some green beans coming up right over here because these all look very similar in plant color. Now, in this area right here, we're going to be doing raised bed gardening this year, which is a suburban gardening video, which I dropped a few days ago now. And, well, it's definitely something that you could do, and the suburban gardening, it's, it's definitely really fun. But you're going to need a raised bed for that, and that's exactly what we are putting right over here. So if you did enjoy my little garden tour, Drop a like and subscribe, but there's one more thing I'm going to show you before I end this video on that. So to get up here, I was just swarmed by a bunch of whatever the hell those bugs were, and they are so annoying, but I'm going to show you what we're currently doing over here. So we have our pumpkins in officially, so our pumpkins are starting to come up. That reminds me, what I think I might have showed you, the zucchini. That might be those, uh, whatever the hell those pumpkins are called. The, the tiny ones. Yeah, this is our pumpkins, and we are eventually going to put an irrigation system up here. That's going to be next year. Because I don't have the time to do that this year. Goddamn bugs are back. And yeah, that's currently what we're doing up here. Now I'm going to show you the corn. We have corn that is coming up officially. So, well, here is the corn right here. As you can clearly see, it is definitely coming up. And while we have corn coming up in all these rows, we're going to plant another row of over here soon. Don't you worry. Now, 
as of the latest, we aren't actually watering these up here. In fact, you don't actually really need to water these up here. The only reason we're doing these separate is because these plants take up a whole lot of room. Now I'm thinking we're going to have a pretty good year this year with all these plants. And well, it'll definitely be a fun year to say the least. Let's hope that this year is the best gardening year we've had in a while. And let's see if we can reach 200 subscribers. So consider, I don't know, so consider, so consider smashing the subscribe button, okay? I can't think of any other word. Let's end the video on that.